Today's uh, project is to uh, start this uh, 1998 Malibu I have here up in uh, this cold weather. Right now it is. And, uh, I know you're saying, oh, we get colder than that up here. Well, first of all, you can take it. I don't want it. And second of all, if it gets much colder than this, I plug my car in. So uh, that way I don't have to worry about starting it. But uh, uh, later on in another date, maybe I'll, uh, if it gets colder here, generally doesn't get this much colder than this around here in Minneapolis here. But um, if it does get colder, I'll uh, probably do another vlog starting and even colder than this without a plug-in. There's a lot of speculation as to how long to leave your car run after you start it up before you drive off. Uh, well, my personal opinion is you're going to want to leave run for a couple three minutes at least I mean you got to let the transmission oil warm up and you got to let the power steering pump warm up as well as the engine oil and it takes longer to warm those things up so uh, this thing's got a nice feature on it it's got automatic uh, headlights that automatically turn on when it gets dark there's a switch in there too they'll stay off and if it's below five degrees above zero so uh, then they won't turn back on until the air coming out of the uh, defroster gets above uh, five degrees so that's a kind of a good uh, way to work. I just started up at night. It doesn't work during the day, of course, because the lights don't come on anyways until you start driving, then the running lights come on. But, but at night, it's kind of a good gauge to uh, let me know when I should take off. And, you know, I drive without the headlights on, and that, that way it just, uh, I know all the fluids are warm enough not to do any premature wear. So uh, without any further ado, I'm gonna get over here and I'm gonna take care of starting this car up at minus 7 degrees, 21 to 22 degrees below Celsius. I'm going to put the camera under the hood, point it at the engine, and you might hear a little squealing from the uh, power steering pump. That's normal. chances popping this hood because what if it freezes open? Alright, let's do it. Time lapse on the uh, the headlights turning on after I started the car was roughly five minutes. So that's a good uh, rule of thumb, I guess. Uh, four or five minutes uh, before you take off uh, when it's this cold. Put it right up, no problems. It's flipping cold out here. I'm getting in the car and I'm taking off. Well, clean the windows off. Time to get going home. Uh, mind you, this car hadn't been running for about 12 hours. Uh, I just turned it off about 2.30 this afternoon. It's about uh, 2 in the morning now, 2.30 in the morning. Just got done with work. I got some crazy hours right now. So uh, glad I have my hat in the truck. I always carry a hat and a coat in the truck. I don't generally wear it when I uh, work, but I uh, have it just in case of emergencies, and I have a pair of gloves in there too if I need them. Figured it'd be kind of fun to do a video like this. Uh, it's kind of a little out of the ordinary. We got this cold weather, might as well do something good with it. <laughs> Anyways, well this car started up pretty good. It's got like 315,000 miles on it, as you can see. I hope you found this video enjoyable and informational. Don't uh, start up your car and take off right away. At, uh, you know, every, all the oil and all the fluids in the car are kind of a little bit thick from the cold weather. So just uh, take your time, uh, give it a few minutes for the fluids to warm up, and then off you go. All's good. Anyway, have yourselves a great day. We'll talk to you soon.